So let's use the profile that we generated in the last exercise to create our 3D part. We're going to start by using the extrude command and the chain option to automatically select the curve and the horizontal line in one step. And using the shift key, we can go to a symmetric extent. Here we can extend it 12 millimeters. Next, we need to add the hub, which is going to be right at the origin of our cam or the center point of our cam. We're going to make a 28 millimeter circle and then we're going to extrude that 2 millimeters. Also, on a round the corner, let's put a 1 millimeter round on the edge. And we need that same thing on the opposite side of the cam. So I'm just going to fence select that feature and mirror it about the center plane. And there you can see that we have that boss on both sides of the cam. If we go back to our uh, PowerPoint slide, you'll see the other details that we need to add. The next thing we want to add is the hole that also has the flat uh, so that it can be keyed to the shaft. So we're just going to create a 10 millimeter circle. And then we also want to create a line that's going to align with the flat of the uh, axle pin. And it's just going to be three and a half millimeters off of the center. And then we'll use that region and extend that all the way through to create a cut. So you can see that it has that flat on that uh, hole. Next, we need to, at least on one side of the cam, we have to mount a gear. And we can see that that's going to take an M4 screw uh, and 20 millimeters uh, between the holes. So we'll use the hole command in Solid Edge. We're going to create a tapped hole. It's an M4 that's going to go all the way through the part and be uh, threaded to the whole extent. And we'll lock onto the face and then just align to the center of the hole. We'll just go ahead and place two holes out here first on the center line and then we'll add our dimensions. So from the center point to the first hole should be 10 millimeters. And the distance between the two holes is an overall 20. So we'll just add one more dimension. And there. We also want to add some rounding uh, because this is driving that pin back. We want it to be nice and smooth. Uh, so we'll add a 10 millimeter round to the inside corner, a 5 millimeter round to the outside corner, and a 2 millimeter chamfer. So again, 10 millimeters to the inside corner, got 5 millimeters to the outside corner, and then we'll run the chamfer command, and we'll chamfer both the front edge and the back edge uh, 2 millimeters. And so there's our overall cam design. Let's go ahead and change the color. We'll make it that orange color. So we'll just use Part Painter to change the entire body to orange. And there's our completed cam design. So our next steps then will be to add it to the overall assembly after we save it as its new unique part file called CAM.